Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin and today we're talking about series. We're going to revisit the series that I said that I was going to get to in 2022. I was ambitious. I made this list at the beginning of 2022 and I made 22 series that I was going to get to last year. And I did that when I was young and full of hope. So let's see how I did. On this list, I had three categories, series I wanted to finish, series I wanted to continue, and series I wanted to start. I will say that one of my goals was to complete five series in the year, and I did that. Now, which category they come from, let's find out together. I had eight series that I wanted to finish. Of those eight, I finished five series. Okay, so here's the thing. I have one series. It's the Plantagenet and Tudor series by Philippa Gregory. And I have read all except I think three books in the series. And those three books are mostly about King Henry's children. And I don't know that I'm interested in them. Like I read all of the wives, we got up to where King Henry dies. And I think that that's going to be a completion for me. Um, I've read 15 of those books now. Yeah, I think we're done. I think I gave it a good run. I'm going to count this as completed. So I take that back. I completed six series. We're counting that as completed. I gave up on the Reckoner series by Brandon Sanderson. I was reading book two, Firebird, Fire, Fire something. And I realized I'm no longer interested. So I DNF'd it, which means I DNF'd the series. And then the one series that I wanted to continue as a manga series, Death Note. I got to volume seven and I just, I'm still going to continue. I just realized I was not in the mood with it. I did continue reading some of the volumes over the course of the year, but I just did not finish it in 2022. So we will be continuing it in 2023. Of the series that I did complete, I finished The Greenbone Saga by Fonda Lee. I finished the Villain series by V.E. Schwab. Supposedly there is a third book, but I don't count that. It's a rumor. It's completed to me. I finished the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Loved it. I also finished Arc of a Scythe by Neil Shusterman, which I buddy read with Ray. We had such a good time. Oh, and then I also finished um, the Cassidy Blake series by V.E. Schwab, which is City of Ghost and that middle grade series. Moving on to series I wanted to continue on with. So I didn't necessarily have to finish any of these books, but I just wanted to make progress in the series. There were five of those, and of those five, I made progress in three. I continued reading in Attack on Titan, which is a manga series, continued on in the saga um, comic series. I didn't read too many volumes of that this year, but there's time. And then the third one is one I actually completed. It was the Reluctant Royal series by Lisa Cole. And I read I had like three, two novellas and one, the last book in the series. And I had a great time. So that was another series completed. The series that I didn't even touch in 2022, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Bass. I think House of Earth and Blood put me into such a reading slump that I was like, I'm not touching another Sarah J. Mass this year. But I do still plan on continuing with that series because even though it's trash, I'm enjoying it. And then the other is the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb. I started it in 2021, but just did not continue it in 2022. So maybe this, this is the year for it. And then my last category of books was series that I wanted to start. And there were eight of those. They were the Bastards, Something Bastards series by Christina Lauren, The Inheritance trilogy by Jennifer Barnes. I don't know what this, but like A Darker Shade of Magic by V Shop. She was on here a lot, <laughs> um, but that was on the list. The Poppy War by Arv Kwong, The Promised Neverland by Caillou Sheree, Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. The Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson and Anti Darken by Kristen White. 
And then the last one was Faithful in the Fallen series by John Gwen. Of those nine series, I started four. I completed two of them. And then the rest, I didn't get to. I, I didn't get to. You would think that 22 series was enough for me to focus on. But nope, I started some more series last year. So let me just tell you what they were. I started the Love Sisters trilogy. I think that they're all novellas though, so I can probably get those in and out. But the first one is I Think I Might Love You by Christina C. Jones. Then I read Ari Shah and the End of Time, which is the beginning of the Pandava Quartet, which is a middle grade by Rashani Chakshi. And then I read The Boyfriend Project, which is the start of the Boyfriend Project series by Farah Rashan. I also read Arsenic and Adobo, the Tito Rosie's Kitchen series by Mia P. Manansala. I read the Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I had pre-ordered just be did I pre-order it? Or maybe I just I just ordered it. Anyway, I read that, which is the first of the Celestial Kingdoms duology by Sue Lin Tan. But I really loved that so much that I pre-ordered the second book and did I read it? No. <laughs> I also started the Nameless Republic series, which the first book is Son of the Storm by Sui Davies Okumboa. I started the Sweat and Soap manga series by Kintetsu Yamada. And then I also read City of Brass, which is the first in the Devabod trilogy by S.A. Chakraborty. Yeah. So those I will probably be continuing. I also read um, Ray Bear, which is the first book in the Ray Bear duology. How Ever. While I did really, really like that, especially considering that it was a YA fantasy and I hadn't really been feeling YA fantasies lately, I don't know that it was compelling enough that I wanted to continue. So I just had Ray tell me what happened. And so I think I'm good. I, I'm going to consider that caught up. So I think that those were all of the series that I got into. Are you guys planning on reading any series this year, catching up, finishing, starting? Because, you know, we love to start a series around here. Finishing, though, it's a different story. But let's talk about it down in the comments. And until next time, bye.